Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we're going to look at a new feature in TPC Desktop 2015 that we use to convert ground to grid or grid to ground coordinates. I've opened up a survey here called Import Book 16 Coordinates. It's empty. There's nothing in it because I want to show you how we bring these ground coordinates that we have in an ASCII file into a survey that we have set up for grid. Let me explain that in just a moment. I'm going to open up the survey information and bring up the coordinate reference system. We're in NAD 83, Arizona East, and Traverse PC stores everything in grid coordinates. So all coordinates are grid coordinates. But we've been given a file, uh, maybe by the Arizona DOT or somebody, that has stored ground coordinates. So when we import that file into Traverse PC, we want to easily convert ground to grid. Let's take a look at how we do that. Um, I also want you to notice here in the survey information one of my project factors. I've got a scale factor in here, which is a combined factor, so grid and elevation for the project. And let's take a look at what this does for us here. So let's go File, Import. We're going to tell Traverse PC that we're importing an ASCII file. And I'm going to go into the settings and tell Traverse PC that I want to add the points to a Traverse. I want to include the details in the message view, and I want to convert the coordinates. I'm going to select Settings, and in the coordinate conversion, I simply tell Traverse PC I want to go from ground to grid. Now, as soon as I selected ground, Traverse PC said, oh, when I do ground, I have to convert to grid. If I were to select from grid, I would have to convert to ground. So they're they have to be used together, and Traverse PC forces that and sets it up for us. Then it also went and got that combined scale factor for us from the coordinate reference system and project factors. So I now have everything I need to come back here, and Traverse PC will now convert ground to grid and factor the information by that factor, the coordinates. Now the other thing is that um, I'm going to factor or scale those coordinates about a base point. Uh, because I wasn't given a base point uh, for this uh, import, we're going to assume 0, 0. But I could very easily just say, hey, I'm going to scale this around some coordinate value, maybe a local coordinate to that project or, or whatever. So let's tell Traverse PC OK. Let's uh, browse to the file we want to bring in. They have it in a text file. We can simply preview that real quick, and we can see that there aren't that many coordinates, about nine of them or so. Let's go ahead and import that. And Traverse PC tells us that it did a ground to grid conversion with this factor based on this base point. It also tells us that elevations are not converted for grid to ground transformations, which is what we expect. We just want to transform or scale the X and Y. It tells us it brought in nine points. If we come over here to the point manager, we can see that here are the nine points it brought in. Uh, it brought them into a traverse called book16coordinates.txt, and there are nine of them in there. And then I think more importantly here, we can come in and take a look at the details here. And we can see that we did a ground-to-grid uh, conversion using the scale factor and base point. Again, the elevations were not converted. And then for each point, it says, OK, here's point one, here's the coordinates that I imported, and here's what I converted them to. And then I added that point to the survey. And for each point that I bring in, I get the imported coordinates and what Traverse PC converted them to. And it's the convert to coordinates that match up with my uh, point list here. So real easy for me to bring in ground coordinates in an ASCII file, and Traverse PC automatically takes care of converting them to grid. Same thing if I want to export data out to my data collector for stakeout. Uh, if I want, uh, I can take the grid coordinates that Traverse PC has, and I can say convert those to ground for my data collector simply by going to File, Export. I'm going to choose ASCII and Settings. And down in the Export section is the same thing. So I can go Settings, and I want to go Grid to Ground. Traverse PC inverts the combined factor because we're going the other way. And when I export whatever data I'm going to export, Traverse PC will take those grid coordinates and convert them to ground about that base point. 
So pretty neat new feature in Traverse PC Desktop 2016.